Good evening everyone, Late Night Mega here, and tonight we're playing Dragon Age Origins. So put on your PJs and prepare for some cliches. Now, if you couldn't tell by this amazingly epic open scene here, there's kind of a lot of blood going around. Uh, so this is not a PG game at all, even though I'll be keeping the commentary PG. Uh, this is an M-rated game, so just a disclaimer for you guys. Yeah, there's the blood. So that's the only mention I'll make of that. Now, what's cool about Dragon Age Origins is that uh, we have a class system, and... It's a really interesting customization type of system, the type that I like, where one character can't just learn and do everything, even within their own class. Uh, they can't just learn and do everything at once. So that means you could have like two or three different mages and have them perform in battle very differently. And so the Golden City blackened with each step you take in my hall, marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven, and doom upon all the world. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought Chantry, to usurp darkspawn. heaven, but instead they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. Epic music. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Darkspawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. not look like a place where I'd want to be. Until the Grey Wardens came. Men and women from every race. Warriors and mages. Barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness. And prevail. I love that with the dwarf with just the huge axe. <laughs> Let's say he had an axe to grind. Oh, did just cut down an unarmed woman? Yeah, these dark spawn are pretty dang ruthless. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the dark spawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. Uh oh. Nice reflexes there. It may be for me too late. For I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. So yeah, we heard about the Chantry and Darkspawn and Mages. There's like a whole bunch of lore and story building here and uh, just character building. Speaking of character building, so we can be male or female. 
there aren't really any distinctions between the two now and you can see we've got three different races we have three different classes the races will each give you uh small buffs in certain areas you'll start with a couple more stat points here and there and then rogue mage or warrior those will really give you uh, buffs to certain stat points and then you'll notice we have all these different backgrounds so there's two for the elf two for the dwarf um well, technically three for the elf depending on how you pick mage but uh for elf and dwarf warrior or rogue you have two different selections humans you have one different selection or if you be a mage whether you're a human mage or elf mage you will have the same selection uh, for the background or intro so what i'm actually going to do we're going to do something unique here i am going to create six characters we're going to go through all th six of these intro um intro stories and then i'm gonna let you guys vote on which character you want to see see me take into the rest of the game so there's gonna be some interaction on your part uh, we're actually gonna start off with a female human warrior and i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a mix between warriors and rogues um well, we're going to have to play the Human Noble. Just kind of gives you a little intro there, but not a whole lot. And I'm not going to make you guys watch all this customization and all that, so I'm going to be back in a flash. Uh, though off camera, I'll be spending like, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes creating these characters. I do have a list of names. Let's see if you guys can... Uh, figure out the naming scheme I'm going with here. It's going to apply to most of the characters we name here. Uh, but this is Aurelia. And you can see, yeah, look at all these options. I was going to make you guys sit through all this. But I like the way she turned out. She looks like a female noble uh, warrior. And I totally, when I was customizing, I totally missed the skin tone part. I didn't, I, I like skipped down and did the hair first and intending to come back to that. And well, that didn't happen. So, but it, it's fine this way. And you're going to see, you're going to see pretty quickly what sorts of talents and abilities and skills we can learn with these, uh, characters so Aurelia here she's gonna be a warrior Don't be foolish. Uh, but I'm gonna specialize her in the sword and shield tree as opposed to doing like two-handed uh, weapons or dual wielding weapons or archery those are like the four melee paths and warrior or rogue can take pretty much any path though a rogue I think rogue you have to do dual wielding or archery. I don't think you can have a sword and shield rogue. Anyways, uh, we'll get some stat points to start things off. Do I want more cunning? Constitution, that's basically like your uh, health. Dexterity helps you hit things, so we definitely want to be hitting things. Uh, now we get these skills, and you can see there's a ton of them. There's like trap making, there's poison making, uh, herbalism, where you can learn how to craft potions. You guys know me, I'm not too big into crafting, so I'm not sure how much of this I'm actually going to do. But we also have coercion, so we have like persuasive skills. Uh, this is a very like conversation heavy game. And you get lots of options in conversation, and sometimes options that you choose can change outcomes. They can uh, change what items you get or what quests may or may not be available to you, side quest-wise. Uh, there's combat training, there's all sorts of stuff here. Uh, but we're going to start with the coercion. And then we get, okay, so we have a couple rows of talents for the warrior training. Notice they progress to the right. Uh, so you have to get the ones on the left before getting the next ones over to the right. 
And then down here we have weapon and shield. We have three lines of skills for them. They see there's two-handed. You saw archery, dual weapon. We'll do archery and dual weapon. We'll save those for the rogues. We're actually going to end up having two rogues that have uh, dual weapons. Uh, that's just because I need to have five warriors and rogues mixed. And because there's five non-mage backgrounds to start with. And there's only one mage background, so... I couldn't make everything perfect. It's not my fault. Uh, shield Pummel. I do like stunning enemies. That's very nice. So let's let's get Shield Pummel, I guess. This is me trying to figure out what to get. You'd think I would have planned this better beforehand. Um, there is a limited number of talent these are talents a limited number of talents you'll be able to get throughout the game so you can't can't do everything you can't just get full dual wielding or full weapon and shield and then also get full archery and full other thing and then just switch from it. no no we're not doing that you need to commit to a path otherwise you're just going to have um you have a bunch of weak early abilities and stuff and not a lot of good later abilities and stuff. Uh, so in the comment or in the comment section, vote in the comment section. Uh, you can also vote over on the Facebook For page. Generations, your family, the Kuzlans, the has stewarded Kuzlans. the lands of Hyava, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown. Not against the men of Orlais, but against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight, and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the Darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. But we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. At least the smell will be the same. I'm sorry, Pop, I didn't see you there. How? You remember my daughter? I see she's become a lovely young woman. Pleased to see you again, my Oh, dear. hey, there we are. So here's our conversation options. Now, from what I can tell, for the most part... My son Thomas asked after you. Perhaps I should bring him with me next time. For the most part, the options we pick in these intro stages don't matter too much. They will start to Good. matter when we get My into uh, the bulk of the game. With stories of your prowess as a warrior. I dare say he'd like to test it firsthand. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, My name I'm is leaving Pop. you in charge of the castle. You just called me Pup, and you're leaving me in charge of the castle. Uh, so let's see. We can have you can often have like snarky Only responses or like serious responses or respectful responses. Know what they say about mice when the cat is away? Yes. There's also someone you must meet. Please show Duncan. In. I usually go for like the honor respectful, honorable your responses. Your lordship, you didn't mention that a gray warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is Gray Warden, problem? that's the guy from the of intro scene, not. or the, the opening cutscene. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are, I hope. I know about them. 
but uh, let's let's just try to expand this. Like I said, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, different groups of people: Grey Wardens, Chantry, uh, Templars. Without their warning of the dark spawn rising now, half dwarves, the nation could Dalish have been elves, city elves. To react. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow wardens in the south. Just a lot of different things going if on I in the world, so and bold, I like that. I would suggest that your daughter is also an excellent candidate. Honor, though that might be, this is my daughter we're talking about. Oh, so yeah, conversation options. You did just finish saying that Grey Wardens are heroes, old friend. Yeah. I've not so many children that I'll gladly see them all off to battle. Unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription. Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. So I'll fill in some things you that, that uh, you might not be, might not know or might not be apparent at this point. The right of conscription is basically the Grey Warden's uh, ability or authority, rather, in to come meantime, up to someone and say, find "You're going to be tell him to lead uh, the troops to coming ahead. under my care or under my." Uh, my tutelage or whatever, and you're going to become a Grey Warden. I, we're recruit, recruiting you to be, become now, a Grey Warden. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lass go and find do our as brother. I've asked. We'll okay. talk soon. And it can kind of like absolve someone of their crimes, or if they were in jail or something, and be like, "I want to recruit this person." Good evening, my lady. And I'm going to invoke my rights of conscription, so they're coming with me. And you can see here's a map of just our castle. Markers of where we got to go. Yes, it's a 3D game, so I will be getting lost. I'm already going to be getting lost in this castle in this episode. <laughs> uh, and there's our option. See, there's a grit. That's a two handed sword. We're not doing that. We're doing sword and shield. What else do we have? Health potions. And yeah, we're fine. Skill chance. I'm just playing with the menu a little bit here. Uh, but yes, you can vote on which character you want to see. I'm going to leave a brief description of their name, uh, race, class, and like the general path I'm going to take them down. Like if they're going to be a uh, rogue archer uh, or a rogue dual wielder, things like that. Uh, for the mage. There you are. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. We're only going to have one mage, but we could take the mage down multiple paths. It, we'll decide on that if the ma later if the mage uh, gets voted my brothers, on. My lady. It's simply that I've been looking everywhere for you. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again. Oh, and my hound. To leave. Uh, so let's see. I'm, I'm a fan of dogs, so we're going to be... No matter how the maids try to keep him out, he always finds a way in. Uh, you so know the dog Mabari is a little hounds. bit mischievous. He'll listen mischievous. to his mistress, but anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. Yeah, the dog we have, Mabari. Yeah, they're they're warhounds, I'm but they're test that. super well, intelligent. Mabari warhound, you know. But Smart they're really only I loyal and connect to. Of course, that means he's easy to board. One Man person. swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? Just follow the yelling. When Nan's unhappy, she makes sure everyone knows it. Yep, we can definitely hear the yelling. Okay, so we'll get new quests, and sometimes we'll have multiple quests going at the same time. Most of these quests I want to be doing if I'm able to, because they can... Get me but into mistress, battles, get me experience, get me here. items, get me if money, get me get things I need. Skin, both of you useless elves, I swear it. Uh, calm down, good Talking kind of harsh to, to elves. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. I... Uh, you know what? I'm, I get that you're angry. I'll be respectful for to you for right now. Maybe you should be put down. <laughs> That's not quite ready Just to respond get him gone. that. Yeah. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. 
there's no need to be rude like that but those are elves uh and one thing we don't quite learn here in this intro is that our uh the humans used to enslave elves hundreds of years ago oh, look at that and mess. now elves How are still kind of like not quite enslaved but basically kind of uh, and so there's like a lot of animosity between the elves and the humans and a lot of humans still talk really badly to elves. So I don't know if she's doing that out of anger or out of hatred or racism. It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that? Yeah, the dog seems, the dog is really smart. Oh, I was not ready to name the dog here. I don't even remember what the dog name is supposed to be, and I don't have it on the list in front of me. I'm doing this post-commentary, by the way, so I'm just, like, talking out of remembrance. So, yeah, I paused the recording, came back. Voja is the name we're going to have for the dog. Giant Mice. This is how we're starting. This is, like, Final Fantasy XII opening. These mice are going down and... One shot. <laughs> Screaming John victory will be ours when we're attacked by like a dozen mice. And we're just covered in holes. blood. This is totally like realistic. After all. A Dragon Age loves covering everyone in spatters of blood in every fight. So yeah, from the, the dog was doing something There's smart, which you should probably He's assume that about Mobari because as they as are Mubari, highly I'll intelligent. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Arl's men. Like they can understand full sentences and everything. All right. So another thing that I like about Dragon Age is when it comes to exploration and what you can pick up and what you can't. Anything that is sparkling, you can pick up or interact with. Anything that you can't is, is just there for background stuff. Chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. Uh, okay, now you're still being snarky. I'm going to start giving it back to you. What? Rats? Yeah, the large rats. Ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will. See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. I... Uh, yeah, you need to you need to respect oh, I bet the dog. That dog let those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. <laughs> oh, the dog. <laughs> Here then. Take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lady. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. Okay, so I guess she was just more angry at the situation than anything else. She must be the type that doesn't like to be suddenly inconvenienced. Understandable when you have an entire castle of people to cook for. But still, not reasonable to just say those evil things about the dog. Especially when the dog is, you know, super intelligent like the Mabari. And we have locked doors. If we were a rogue, we could pick locks. I mean, it's not going to stop me from trying, necessarily. Sometimes even if you are a rogue, if you don't have, like, enough dexterity or enough lock-picking skills, you might not be able to pick the lock. We will serve you well while the Terran is but I think in this intro section, like if you're a rogue and you have the you pick the basic lock picking skills, you should be able to pick the lock. So yeah, there's gonna be some things that we don't get to collect uh, if we're not a rogue or if we don't have a rogue. But you know what? Most of the treasures in these early intro segments, uh, from what I've seen, just aren't. They aren't spectacular. Good evening, I just I just have to keep telling myself that over and over again, because you know me and picking up treasures, even if it's stuff I never use or just sell off, which selling off stuff is a, not a bad idea in this game, because you have limited inventory space. 
Granted, most RPGs you tend to have limited inventory space, but more so here, we can currently carry 70 items. Make we can upgrade that later. A place for us. Redeem our world from sin. Forgive our transgressions. Maker, forgive us all. Ah, uh, did you I interrupt you pray your praying? Brother and father? I'd be happy to ask for the Maker's blessings with you. Actually, I was just exploring the castle, but while we're here, sure. Please, child, call me Malol. I've known you since you were a wee babe, after all. Creator of the sky, the land, and the sea. Hear your people in our time of need. Uh, make her watch over us or say nothing. I'm just going to stay Let silent no here. man have cause to fear the shadows. Let their souls be lifted upon your return. So let it be. Your faith is silent tonight. I hope you are just deep in reflection. Yeah, so see, there's a the segment where the dialogue do. kind of changed a little bit. Me. But ultimately, especially in these intro segments, those dialogue changes aren't going to mean uh, much. It's just kind of an introduction to, hey, here's how conversations can happen and here's how things can kind of change uh, based on your responses. Books. We definitely want to be inspecting books because we get 50 experience for doing so. Uh, most of the time. And they add things to our codex. I am not going to bring up the codex and start reading it because, well, we could spend like 40 episodes just doing that in this game. There's a lot of codex stuff and entries. And I don't regard myself to be like an expert of Dragon Age lore or anything like that. Uh, but I do know some of the basics and uh, at least to have some sense what's going on. So what's really cool about these intro segments is that, uh, you know, depending on where you come from, you kind of get like a little bit of the background of Ferelden. Ferelden is the continent we're on, kind of. We'll oh, go with that. We were just, uh... No, oh, hi there. Ignoring your duties, playing cards, taking a break. Well, uh, I'll just go with that well, one. The treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the Tern stationed us here. I didn't say you were in trouble. Uh, do you always question your duties? I don't know. Nobody has come to look at the treasury. Okay, well, there must be some reason for you. Who has the key to the treasure? I want the key so I can go to the treasury and get stuff. The tan. And perhaps the tanner? Honestly, don't know, my lady. Oh, well, then that doesn't help me. All right. Uh, yes, my lady. Yeah, I'll Thank just kind of let them off. can't do that. Yep, key required. So some things that are locked you can't even pick because you need the key. All right, well, with that, uh, I think we're going to continue our exploration of this castle and traveling through here Good evening, my lady. next time.